was very excited to graduate, looking forward to going to college and just having an amazing life after that. Um, I found out I was pregnant the day of graduation. Uh, I do remember um, not thinking that it was true. I just remember going to the doctor visit, being able to see the sonogram, uh, see the baby right there, and you know, that kind of makes it real for everyone. My plans for the baby going through college that first semester were to parent. I remember going through that whole semester not necessarily prepping. So things start swirling in my head just considering that I have no preparation. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't, I can't see the light into having everything instantly to care for him and his needs. I remember calling that number. Volunteers of America was my safe haven. It was a place where I wasn't pressured. It was a place that I could go to and have an open conversation of, here are your choices. We're not gonna push you to do anything you don't wanna do, but I want you to know that you have choices. he was born, I, I had my mom on one side, my sister on the other, and we all just cried. And I just remember telling everybody, like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Cause I realized I was not equipped to do this. <laughs> I was not mature enough. And I just didn't have the tools to be there for him. Like I wanted to be, like I still would love to be. <laughs> but just to finally realize at, at that moment, and I had to do something for him and take myself out of the equation and not put my feelings before his health, his well-being. And just to know that, um, that he needed a family who not only loved him, but loved each other and was a strong bond. And I knew at that moment that this is what had to be done. So I met them literally the day after I gave birth. Just because in my heart, I knew that they would be able to raise him in a way that I could only dream of raising him. It was a gift to be able to see him and just to see how much he had grown. I'd get to feed him and hold him and sing to him. All the things that I had thought, this is never gonna be possible. When you look back, it's just, it's a blessing to be able to say how much I've been gifted. Because people really, they don't get this every day. But just to be able to say that Max is in good hands and that we're able to still have our relationship. It's very different from a mom-son relationship, but it's one that I cherish because it's unique and I can't explain it to anyone because I'm not an aunt, I'm not a mom, I'm Lala. <laughs>